In this video, you're going to see exactly how to tie one of the most popular knots in fishing. Many believe this to be the most useful knot in fishing because it can be used with so many different types of lines and can cover a variety of different connection needs. This knot is called the uni knot, and you're looking at it right here going from directly from a leader to a hook. So we're going to cover that connection as well as uh, we're going to slide up the leader to our line to line knot and we're going to be doing a, a mono line to a really light braid. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to build this exact leader assembly step by step. Here's how to use the uni knot to connect a mono line to a hook. First step is just to go straight through the eye of the hook. And uh, step number two would be to overlap the two. So we're going to take the tag end over to the right, which is the same direction that our, our leader is facing. And uh, I like to get about maybe six inches of line out here. So six inches of overlap and pull it fairly tight and then, then lock in with our left hand, lock in those two lines together so that we can then let go of the leader and the tag end and they'll both just be hanging out, uh, heading out toward the, uh, the right. So now that we have these, uh, these lines in place here with our, uh, with our left hand, is that we're going to now curve the leader up and place it in that same finger just to hold it tight, get it secure. Now that we have it all cinched down and controlled, you'll just see that we have this loop, which is just the tag end of the line, just looping around, going out the top. And as you'll see, I did the loop in front of the doubled line. So we're gonna go ahead and secure it again. So now that we have it in place, is the next step is to then take this tag end and we're gonna wrap around this doubled line. So we're gonna go from behind and then through this loop that we created, we're gonna do that five times. And the easiest way to do that is to keep, uh, keep your, your left hand uh, holding the two lines together. And with my right hand, I'm gonna cinch down on the other side so that we can then just quickly just use our index finger and our thumb just to weed it through. So there's two, three, four, there's a final four, and now five. So as you saw there, we just did, again, that one, we made the loop and then wrapped the, uh, the leader line around the loop. And as you'll see, very important is that all those wraps are all going in the same direction toward the tag. So every one of those wraps are moving from left to right toward the tag. And so at this point, we can now uh, just pull on the tag in. And what that'll do, and just pull with a steady pace, and that'll just slowly cinch those lines down. So now that we have it, have it finger tight, is that we basically formed a big loop right above the hook, and then at the top of the loop is this uni knot that we created. But in reality, this is just a big slip knot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a good hold of the, the main part of the line, and then grab the hook, of course, and just start pulling. And you'll see that that knot will, uh, will slide down, and eventually it'll hit the top of the hook, and then just form a nice, compact uh, just group of coils, and just pull as tight as you can at this point. So now this, this knot is completely locked in. You can see just really nice tight coils in there. And uh, the last step is just to cut off the tag end. So now that we have our hook connected, we need to make our line to line knot to connect to our main line. So we're gonna pull out the desired amount of mono and go ahead and uh, cut it off. So this is gonna be the top of our leader. All right, so we're now bringing in some braid to do the line to line connection to complete our leader assembly. And uh, instead of step number one, as before, where all we did was go through the, the eye of the hook, uh, step number one for this line to line knot, which is really called the double uni knot, is, uh, is just to have the, the, the main line, which is in this case is this yellow braid. We have it pointing one way with the leader pointing the other, and we're gonna overlap the two. So you can see the braid is pointing toward the left, the, the uh, leader is pointing toward the right, and uh, we have them both overlapped. And so when just starting out, you probably need to err on the, lo on the long side. Um, I usually use about maybe six to seven inches of overlap. But if you're just beginning, I recommend maybe doing eight to 10. So we have about eight, eight inches or so here. And so we have, again, just a straight overlap. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab with our left hand right in the middle of those overlaps. And then we can let go of everything. So you can see now, um, we have this, uh, this mono line, the tag end hanging out toward the right, just as we had before when we were doing the hook. And we're going to, again, just as before with tying onto the hook, we're gonna make this loop. So now we have, again, a very similar situation in which we have this, this tag end that forms a loop with a doubled line at the very top of it. And we're gonna do exactly what we did before where uh, we're gonna have this tag end go through this loop, which is basically wrapping around this doubled line five times. One, two, three, four, 
five. All right, and same as before is that all these coils, they have to be going in the same direction. In this case, they're all heading over towards the right. So now that we have that formed, we're gonna go ahead and pull, pull the knot tight and, and just finger tight. We don't have to get it really, really taut here. Just, just make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. And, and so now we're gonna pinch down with our right hand right on top of the knot, directly on top of the knot. And we have our braid end sticking out toward the left along with our leader going down to the hook that we created earlier. And so now we're gonna tie the uni knot with the braid around the, uh, the leader. And so we're basically gonna do exactly what we did before, but it's now in the opposite direction. Meaning that now we, we do the loop heading in this, uh, this opposite direction. So we just created the loop with the braid, and now we have at the very top a doubled braid and mono. And so now with this tag in that's pointing up, the tag end of the braid, we're gonna go around this doubled line just as we did before. But since this is braid and braid is much more slick than mono, instead of going through it five times, we're gonna go through it 10 times. So it was recommended to, uh, to make a little bit more tag end sticking up so that we can do this. And so now again, we're gonna go through 10 times through this circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a final one for number 10. And again, the same exact scenario applies where we want to make sure that every single one of these, of these wraps, they're all going in the same direction. There's no overlaps. They're all going in the same direction as the tag end. So now that we have all 10 wraps complete, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab onto the tag end and just start pulling these tight. And as you'll see that these, uh, these will all form to nice little coils. All right, so now that we have it uh, finger tight is that we now have these two knots. So we have two uni knots tied on this one strand. On the left side is the braid that is wrapped around the leader. And then on this right side, we have the leader line that is wrapped around the braid. And again, both of these are essentially slip knots. So what we need to do now is we can let go of the tags. We can get a good hold of both sides. So I'm gonna get a good hold of the braid good hold of the leader, and then we're gonna pull them tight. I'm trying to get a nice close up. So you can see as, as they slip in, is that they're gonna form a good, a good zoom there. Okay, there's a good zoom. So they're gonna slip in and they're gonna hit each other. And at that point, they're gonna just condense down and really tighten on one another. You can see that really tightened up there. So here's a close up of the completed knot. As you can see, this, uh, this side with the mono is much thicker. And that's just because it's a much thicker line than the braid. Uh, the good thing about this knot, as I said before, is that it can be used to connect any size lines, no matter what the diameter is and also what type it is. The only thing, to, again, keep in mind is if you're using braid, instead of doing the standard, the standard five wraps, is do 10. So we're going to go ahead and just cut the, uh, the tags off, and we can cut it nice and close. And there is the completed double uni knot. And as you saw, it is basically the exact same thing as the uni knot, just done twice. And with this one single knot, we now have a complete leader assembly where we have the line to line knot, as you saw here with braid to the, to the leader, going back down all the way to the hook, which just has the traditional uni knot, it's directly to the hook. So again, the good thing about this knot is it's a strong knot, first of all, it's easy to tie, second of all, and it can be used in so many different types of situations that this is just a really good knot to know and a really good knot to teach young kids who are getting into fishing because they'll be able to use it for so many different situations for many years to come. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have not yet done so, be sure to subscribe to our website, saltstrong.com. We have new fishing tips coming out every week and we have a really fun weekly email newsletter that we know you're gonna love. Thanks again for watching. Hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones. Strong and wear the line today.